Hi and welcome. Um, this is episode 686 and the topic today is well, uh, coming home to yourself, why it is vital for your well-being and more besides. Before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am, what I'm about and why you might want to watch. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker and relationship attraction expert helping women create balance in love, life and business. I do this because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine which informs my work and also inspired these talks over two years ago called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart, abbreviated conveniently down to MFTM to fit into the title so I can put more stuff in there. So every day I do, I've done these talks for over two years, well I've done these talks for over two years and I've done them every day for about a year and eight months. So I'm now up to episode number 686, so getting up there. And the topic today is um, coming home to yourself and why it's vitally important for your well-being. And actually this was inspired by a conversation with a friend of mine. Oh, by the way, this is a Facebook Live where you can interact directly with me if you're watching live at 5 p.m. Pacific time. If you're watching on YouTube or on the replay, you can put comments in below. However, if you want to watch it interact live with me, if you catch me live on Facebook Live. That's three lives in a row, that should make sense. <laughs> okay, let's jump in. So I was having a conversation with a friend of mine earlier today and she said something in the middle of the conversation that just hit me and I realized that it, it it's like, you know when, and say this, it's kind of like the way that dominoes fall, you know when you set up domino maps around the room and you press one domino and it knocks that one down, it all just trickles down through the room and goes into wonderful patterns and stuff. There's great stuff on YouTube if you want to watch some great domino um, cascades, I guess is a word for it. So anyway, so she was saying this thing about coming home to herself and it just it clicked for me something I've been developing for a while now and if you watch my broadcast you know I talk, I talk a lot about self-love and how and the self-love practice I promote which I'll, I'll put the link in the comments so you can see it but my self-love practice I promote is a very simple technique that I use with my clients to help them really find their way back to loving themselves but when she said coming home I realized that's really what I'm talking about because self-love is a great practice no I mean I, I, I recommend it I have people invest in it and it changes their lives but it's bigger than that now, I realize, more than anything else. But I've become very clear about and realizing what I've done for the last, God, over 30 years of my own personal growth journey has been really to come home to myself. And so what, I'm, what I want to talk about here is, is one, why it's important, two, why you might want to pursue this, and three, some ideas and techniques of how you can get to the place of really coming home to yourself. And it's interesting because I'm really saying this in development. I've, 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 as I said, I've, I've had this, this program concept brewing for a few months now, a couple of months. But I didn't, it, seemed, it was like a headless design. It didn't, have a, it didn't have a container for it. But now it all fits together, like the domino cascade that I mentioned earlier. It's seeing this comes together. So let me speak to what coming home to yourself means and also explain how you can get there and also throw it, offer you an invitation at the back end so you know where I'm coming from and where you're going to, sort of, kind of. So what I mean by coming home to yourself is really coming home and, in a way, residing inside your body. So for many people, and I've been there myself, so this is definitely not you only, it's definitely including me. I've been, we have been, let me include ourselves in this, we've been driven by this desire to accomplish things, to feel like we've, we've become we come home to something, succeeded, relaxed. It's almost like when we get to the certain destination, we get the right career, we get the right relationship, we get the right house, we have the right religion achievements, whatever those things are, then we feel like we've come home, we've arrived, we've landed at home in a way. However, everything I just talked about is transitory. It has, and I'm sorry to say this, but a lot of people's relationships are transitory just to be transparent, as in, you know, the divorce rates are pretty high. So what I'm really realizing more and more, what I've become true for myself and what I've really been doing without note realizing it, is really in a way teaching you in my broadcast, but also doing for myself, is coming home to myself and hopefully coming home to yourselves too, because the only real constant is the relationship we have with ourselves. Careers change, economies change, even relationship with our religion can change. I will definitely speak to that one. I've had enough, I've had a very, very um, <laughs> I've had quite a journey with my religious affiliation and practice and journey. So journey with journey, yeah. So so I I know for myself, and I'm sure for a lot of people out there, we've had 
um, our own, what I call it, and one of my teachers called it as well, um, my dark night of the soul, so to speak, which is really a spiritual crisis, is where we discover our relationship to, the relationship to what we think is God has changed. Now, that's my experience. You may not have had that one, but what I'm saying is that all this stuff about, yes, exactly, Trisha, and I see you, by the way. Thank you, Rebroga. Yes, wherever you go, there you are. It's true. I'm quoting Bakaru Banzai. I know that. I know that movie well and love that quote from it. Um, so, what I was trying to say is that in my experience, from I had to really learn that really the, the, the relationship I have with myself is more important than anything else, including my relationship to an external religious teaching. And I believe that's true for all of us. If you're a particularly traditional religious person, if you're watching broadcast, you probably aren't watching anymore because I did have a, a, da a rant about the Bible um, appropriating men being ahead of women, and I had an argument with that. That was last weekend. I talked about that. If you watch that broadcast and you still follow me, I think you're not too attached to the Bible. So <laughs> just to be clear, I do have a, um, a blasphemous relationship, so to speak, with that, just that um, framework. Anyway. <laughs> I could be careful and get myself in trouble with that one. Well, no, screw it. I've been in trouble enough times with that, so I'll keep going. So, coming home to yourself is really about how do you find your way back to honoring, respecting, and appreciating who you are? Independent of external circumstances, most of us, and again, I'm including me in this journey, it's not just about you, it's about me too, have spent our lives journeying through experiences, challenges, opportunities, uh, upsets, and and traumas almost that have shaped us and for most of us we're still carrying those bags over our shoulders and I'm just visioning uh, flashing on a memory of a friend of mine uh, for those of you who haven't followed me recently two weeks ago three weeks ago two weeks ago I was at my friend Deborah Kagan's uh, Rocky Mojo weekend and one of the few men got to be in the room which is one of my privileges however she did a demonstration which I've seen in other trainings too and I've used it myself is the idea that we carry all this baggage along with us through our lives. And that's largely because we haven't necessarily resolved, healed and transformed, or even recognized that we're carrying baggage from the past, emotional baggage, psychic baggage, mental baggage, that is trapped in our beingness. So when I say come home to ourselves, what I really mean is not, what I mean also is not just that we start to inhabit and embody who we are, but we also, uh, we also sort of, um, <laughs> Okay, that was an interesting thought. Let me try this one on you, just to land this for you. So the preset, the concept I'm talking about is that we come home to ourselves, meaning we have it, our physical beingness, because that's the one thing that's constant in our lives. However, if you ever moved into a house that was already furnished and you hated the furnishings, it's kind of like that for some of us coming home to ourselves as well, meaning we come home to our beingness. And the challenge with that is we face those stuffed, buried, emotional baggage that we've hidden and it's kind of like in front of us, isn't it? We're confronted with it. So for some people coming home is not easy. In fact, for some people coming home is not even on the table until they resolve the things inside. So I'm very clear that it's not just like, oh, snap your fingers and it's fine to come home to yourself because a lot of things are in the way for a lot of people. I have my own demons to exercise, so to speak. And I don't mean that religiously. I mean, that as a metaphor, just in case you're wondering. So for you, perhaps you may have old memories, baggage, wounds, hurts from past relationships, from past family dynamics, from being well, your upbringing, from past career challenges, from all sorts of things. And so I recognize that coming home is not just to say, like step one, come home to rest. But a lot of times it's like come home, step one. Oh, what I was laugh laughing about was um, the Japanese um, decluttering. I've got, uh, I try to remember her name. It didn't come to me. But anyway, she talks about, you know, get rid of everything that doesn't bring you joy. So coming home to yourself may not be a joyful experience. And so the opportunity is going to be how do you deal with those things that you've been avoiding because you didn't want to come home to yourself. See, part of the journey, part of the challenge is for all the people, again, maybe not you, it wasn't, hasn't been me most of the time, most of the time, it would be better to live out in the world and, and not come home to ourselves because there was just too much pain and wounding there. So it'd always be, let's go out in the world and do things and pass the time. Or maybe it was drinking too much or doing drugs or playing sports or always doing things out in the world to avoid facing our own selves. This is the challenge for a lot of people, I understand. And in my coaching, a lot of my work is to do that with people. But I want to speak to one thing in a moment and I'm, I'm going to drop on a few more things in the teaching before I actually give you what I'm going to talk about. Because I mentioned at the beginning that I'm going to show you what it's not, what it is, 
what you can do about it and also an invitation I'm going to put give you at the back end of this broadcast so now you know what I'm talking about so how do you get and uh, yes so how <laughs> so how do you get there well again as I mentioned coming home to yourself sometimes means entering the house and looking at it and you have to sort of do something about the furniture like getting rid of a lot of it that doesn't work for you and I mean that the furniture represents the emotional stuff the baggage that the old beliefs that don't match anymore because you've changed so it's about facing those and realizing that who you are is more than that who you are is actually more um, real than that more aligned than that more powerful even not not that you're going to dominate but how you're going to free yourself up so what i'm speaking to literally is how do you face your own self in the mirror and really come to terms with who you are to face that doesn't face what doesn't work and finally and honestly release it so you can move forward the reason why i'm talking about this is when you do come home to yourself life will transform when you come home to yourself you will see how life can work for you in a most amazing way because when you are residing in yourself one you don't desert yourself, which means in relationships, they have to step up to where you are. It means in career choices, you become much more um, aligned to your mission. You also won't choose to take jobs that don't suit you. You actually choose things that align to you. The thing about starting from home base when you live in your own self and you come and really honor who you are, all the choices you make come from a much more holistic and powerful place. This is something I had to learn the hard way. So I'm just saying this is not something I say is easy. I've been there. But I really recognize that it's possible. And when you do get to that place, it's, it's, it's I'm not sure I'm putting it to words yet. Let's see, I'm, I'm, I'm just exploring as I'm speaking here. Coming home to ourselves is the most grounded, the most honest, the most aligned place I know I've ever experienced in my life. Everything I do in my life from this place means the choices I make are much more aligned so I don't have any dealings with guilt anymore. Almost. I'm not, let me be honest. There's some things I've done the last couple of weeks where I realized I was out of alignment with myself. This is why I'm very aware of it right now. Because when I realized I, left, I went out of my home, so to speak, I left myself to try and make sure somebody else was better off than I was and I paid a price for that. So if you're like that too, this is one of the things I'm going to help share and teach in this new thing, new thing I'm launching is how to stay tuned into yourself, how to stay aligned to yourself, how to always remember that your choices come from within, not from out there. It becomes a much more um, impactful way of living and you get sourced from within, which is exactly what I'm learning how to teach and, and facilitate more in my work. So, I'm just seeing if there's anything else I want to put in the, in the mix. I'm going to say this. I mentioned at the beginning about the dominoes falling and how I've seen how this comes in alignment. And I had this this um, course I've been developing. And what I want to get clear, really clearly is what the course is about is coming home to ourselves. So what I have, what I'm finishing up putting together, it's not ready yet, not quite ready yet. What I'm, finish, what I'm putting together right now is a little group um, course, I'll call it that, a three month course that I'm offering um, that I'm not, I don't have a sales page for it, nothing else, but what I'm gonna invite you to do if you wanna find out more about this, about how to come home to yourself, and you can do it in a group. So I'm doing this as a group practice, a group course, because for some people, private coaching is beyond their budget. So I'm creating a group course that's gonna be much more um, accessible over three months, and I'm gonna put together all the details of that in the next, next week or so. It's gonna launch in a week is the plan, which will be the 25th. So if you're interested in that, I'll invite you to I'll put a link in the comments to have a contact form so you can reach out to me. Just put. Um, coming home or home in the comments and that will then when I get the email I'll send you the details because I don't have anything written yet on my website it's all in notes on my computer so coming home to yourself is my is my um, newest understanding framing for a lot of the stuff I've been doing and hey Kara nice to see you broadcast thanks for being here um, so I'm launching this now at, launching it next week as a three month immersive supportive safe place to develop relationship with yourself like you never have before well maybe you have maybe you haven't but if you want to do this with me it'll be different it'll be powerful and it'll be basically th uh 13 13 weeks of really fun playful joyful fulfilling healing transformational experiences so i'll put a link in the comments so you can check it out i mean so you reach me rather there's no page to check out yet 
And I'll be talking about this more over the next week or so because this, this is really fundamentally for me how everything shifts. Because when we're at home inside ourselves, when we really live inside ourselves, when we inhabit who we are, everything around us transforms. And if you've been busy trying to fix everything out there, you may be realizing you've actually left your home base. It's almost like you've walked so far outside of your, yourself, you've lost your power. You've lost your authority, you've lost your love, you've lost your self-support. It's not fun, I know. Well, I'd like to spend time with you too, Kara. So um, either in that course or in person, we, should, we need to talk and catch up, absolutely. So with that, I'll leave a link in the comments so you can reach out to me. It'll be a contact form so you can just send a note to me about finding out more information. I'll send you an email back. Um, that is, I think, really it. There's a lot more in brewing, but it's not, it's not um, intelligible yet. <laughs> this is just a seed I'm planting and letting you know about it. So I hope this made sense to you about coming home is really the key to really having the most amazing life, fulfilling your life, supporting yourself, being everything you want. And this is an invitation to check something out I'm providing. So I think that made sense. So if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I see all the love coming in. Thank you, Kara. I appreciate that. Um, the Kara Kara show. I haven't seen you for a while, so it's good to get, good to connect. We'll talk. This is my daily broadcast that I do on Facebook Live, and you're watching live, interacting great. If you want to catch me live every day, join me at 5 p.m. Pacific time on facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. Um, 5 p.m. Pacific time is my usual time, although next week I might be moving. I've got another... another um, series that I'm part of that I might be doing that at 5 p.m. I'm not sure the time just yet. For replays, you can join, you can find, my, find them on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. And also on YouTube, I have a YouTube channel called Barry Selby. Please subscribe to that. And there's a playlist on playlist, try that again, a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. Subscribe to that and you can watch my broadcast there too. So um, I think that's everything I want to say right now. But if you want to learn how about how to come home to yourself, this is my newest, most fresh and uh, newly painted <laughs> course I'm offering and I'm inviting you to come check it out so with that I thank you for watching I'll be back in tomorrow at 5pm Pacific time I'll put a link in the comments as I mentioned you can reach out to me i also put the self love practice in there because I did mention it earlier in case you're interested and, uh, and that's it with that I thank you for watching take care of yourselves I'll see you again tomorrow bye